Alright, this is just a impromptu recording, because even in a really weird debug state, this is actually kind of a fascinating toy. Uh, this is a flock of 1,000 crude boids. Uh, as you can see, they ambiently are attracted weakly to a, a point in space. They weakly, although a little bit more strongly than that attraction in the middle, they're repelled by the controller. They, uh, if I hold my arm out here, you can see they actually repelled by the display, so you can kind of get your face in them without too much trouble. And then here's where the debug values are just really funny. So the grip buttons can vacuum everything in, and this controller has a range of a meter. It's like if I start all the way out here, turn on the vacuum, and then bring it within range, <laughs> you can see it starts vacuuming them up. And it's, it's funny how fast it is if you just go... <laughs> um, then you've got the trigger. It creates a thrust field. Um, so again, I can start it out out from afar, turn it on, bring it in. And you can see like just on the edge of this thrust field, it starts pushing them away, but then as I get inside, it pushes them out to the very edge of where it'll actually start having an effect on them. So these are weird, but they get neat when they're combined. So for example, I can grip and turn on the thrust and it's actually analog based on how far the controller or how far the uh, trigger is held down. So you can actually control very fi in fine detail with your index finger a sword. <laughs> you can actually swing at a pretty reasonable speed. <laughs> it's it's just pretty ridiculous. Uh, just because of this debug graphic means it has this triangular shape to it that actually comes out really strongly in the stereo. Um, yeah, and it even sort of creates a mushroom cloud. <laughs> if you get it just right, you can get it to mushroom cloud while remaining a full sword. <laughs> can also just be fun, frankly, to swipe one's hand through. <laughs> and then there's other fun effects like having both the attraction and the repulsion on at the same time actually gives you a very strong grip on the flock. Like you can actually push them around in space very quickly and if you push them too quickly they roll over each other. Which I don't know, well I guess I'll see how this comes out in a 2D recording but it looks really nice in stereo. <laughs> oh such silly, silly debug things. Yeah, the way everything just flows, and you have this direct control over them, it's just pretty fun. I like to shoot them out and then let go of the grip to just poof, sort of kick them out into space. play with it for a while, but after this recording, it'll be onward to getting something more lifelike. Oh, have a nice day. <laughs>